Hey YouTube, Facebook. I am sorry this video kind of looks black and white. I am not sure why it does that. But never done it before, but it is now. Today I'm going to be doing a song called The Ballad of Curtis Lowe for you. I've done it for a while, been wanting to do a video of it, so I'm going to do it. I got brand new Martin & Company strings uh, yesterday for my Jack Daniels acoustic, so it'll sound real pretty for you all today. I also got some new shirts. Been looking for some Western wear shirts, so finally got some. And then, um, yeah, I recommend Martin & Company, the Blue Packs 8020 bronze for your acoustics. So far, they are the best sounding strings I've ever heard. I mean, heck, it turned my PV Jack Daniels acoustic guitar and uh, almost what a Martin does sound like, and in my personal opinion, I think Martin is the greatest acoustic guitar on the planet. But enough of me yapping. Let's get to the song. Right. I'm gonna be playing stand up. Don't give me shit about my pick. I've lost all my mediums, so I'm using a hard one today, actually. And I'm not used to using a hard pick. You can't really see my face that well. Let me try turning off the overhead light and see if that helps it at all. Yeah, yeah I guess that kind of helped it. It looks even more black and white now, but that's luck with it. Alright, let me make sure it's in tune here. Yeah, it's in tune. Alright, here we go. Ballad of Curtis Lowe by Leonard Skinner. Oh, 
If you wonder what my Jack Daniels guitar looks like, this is it. It's got a pretty little rosette on it like that. No pick guard, kind of sucks. hate the way this bridge looks, but hell, I got it for an amazing deal. And then up here, of course, at the top, it says Jack Daniels. And then side of it, it says Jack Daniels acoustic guitar number seven. Just like it says on the whiskey bottles. It's a great guitar, and with these Martin strings, it sounds totally amazing. fun of me because the way I dress, I don't really give a fuck. I'm not your average skater motherfucker. I was raised in the woods and I'm proud of it. So, see ya.